So good afternoon, my friends. Um, go get a go get a water or a soda or something. I think this one's gonna be a long one, uh, so I'm gonna start off slow. I'm gonna start off two that I'm not gonna take up the base, but basically I'm doing my car carrier or transport or truck and trailer hitch and tow collection. Uh, well, not my entire hitch and tow, uh, just ones associated with cars. So from M2, I uh, have this really beautiful uh, Trans Am uh, Mustang. So it's a uh, 1974 uh, Ford C800 truck and a 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 302 that was raced in Trans Am Racing. And this is the Fomoco livery. So this is beautiful. And a licensed truck, which is always nice, and a very well done licensed truck. I've said before, the only thing I really can criticize M2 is the is the length, which seems too long for this trailer. Um, I'll give you an example here. Take a so there's a '65 Mustang. The ramp here seems way too long. If you tried to put on two cars it's too short but it's too long for just the one in my opinion other than that um yeah it's a very nicely done piece and i have shown that off before and i store my m2s basically on the plants underneath the acrylic covers uh, now, this one here, I have undone the Bronco, but not the trailer. So this is the uh, Coca-Cola set with the um, Ford F-250 Explorer 4x4 and the Bronco. Uh, so this is a very nice set. This is a truck and trailer and car. So three pieces. So the, they're both very nice, but they're not coming off the plinth. But to make up for that, let's take a look at some of the others. So, M2. As far as trucks, I think that's the last one from M2. We're going to move on to uh, green light, but we're not going to stick with So, the next one is this beautiful Shell Gasoline livery team. This is a uh, green light uh, hitch and tow heavy duty trucks from my friend Sol over at Sol's Diecast Odyssey. And this is a really beautiful C30 ramp truck with a really, really nice, uh, I think it's a 1969 Z28. Yeah. And this is sweet. Beautiful painted details. Um. So we've got Fomoco, and you can see the drastic size difference between these two trucks. The ramp on this seems much better, and I realize the C1800 is a bigger chassis than the C30, but still, um, it seems exaggerated. In fact, we'll jump to another brand real quick for a real quick examination, and that is Maisto by Design. So this is the first Maestro by design, by design I ever got. The truck is an unlicensed, but it's very similar to the C800. The truck is a metal cab, but plastic back, plastic base. Um, and these are a very reasonable team transport type equivalent. Um, and you can see that much, much longer ramp on the M2. And this has... And Oldsmobile Cutlass 442, uh, 1970, I believe. I should know off the top. Oh, sorry, 1969. One of my best friends had a 1970 and then a 1972. The 1970 had that same hood piece that could catch you in the back of the head if it, f if it fell while you were underneath the hood. Some nice uh, gold steely wheels. That's a pretty cool little model there. So, Maestro by Design, Greenlight, M2. Um, 
we'll go with another Maestro by Design. Same truck. But this one came with the uh, Bugle, Buick Regal GNX. Or, I'm sorry, not, yeah, not GNX, Grand National from Maestro. And that's a sweet casting. If I can get that, let's see. Get that, there we go. Get that to sit there properly. Let's go for another green light. So this is the last of the V8 interceptors on a Ford F-350. So this is very similar casting to the C-30. Of course, this is all blacked out. And it's got the MFP, Main Force Patrol badge there. But I would say the green light does the proportions best on these trucks. And of course, that's got the Australian Falcon. Let's head on over to Hot Wheel Land. So this is the, um, what do they call this? The Wave, Fast Wave? Let's see. Speedways. The speeds, Speedways unlicensed but looks to me sort of like a 35 Ford or so. It's pretty nice, all metal, metal, plastic chassis, real riders. Came with this beautiful 30, uh, 32 Ford three window coupe. So here is another one from Hot Wheels. This is the retro rig with the 65 Mustang two plus two race car. And this is from the Pony Wars set. Um, another transport of this time again is Maisto Elite Design. Is this International Durastar? This one is actually a licensed truck, metal cab, plastic chassis, oversized wheels, plastic but functional tilt, slide and tilt. Uh, and this is a 1959 Chevy Impala. Very nice. I was actually surprised at how many of these sets I have. I had forgotten. I keep on saying I don't really collect trucks. You know, they take up too much space and they do. That's why it took me a while to get them all from various points. Uh, together here. Um, so here's another Hot Wheels transport. Um, the Sakura Sprinter with Advan livery, Advan Yokohama. And this came with the R32 Skyline in the Advan livery. And this was my I don't know, first or second Skyline. I don't have that many Skylines. Nissan Skyline GTR R32. So this is a premium metal body, metal base, beautiful tempo, real rider tires. So that's pretty cool. So all of these trucks should have a car associated with them. Uh, jumping. All right, so uh, do we have another Hot Wheels? Oh, yes, we have another Hot Wheels. Another Hot Wheels transport is this Euro hauler from the IWC Racing, and this is the one that has that beautiful Hot Wheels. Uh, SLR. This, I mean, uh, 300 SL, excuse me. This is a beautiful model. So, Hot Wheels, one, two, three, four. Uh, Maisto, one, two, three. Green light in the ramp trucks, just the two, but we'll be seeing more green light. And M2, those two sets here. Oh, okay, so the rest is going to be... Let's finish up Hot Wheels, I think. Yeah. So the last Hot Wheels set should be this Ford Rally set, this Ford Rally van. 
with the RS200. And this is very nice. And I think this is Hot Wheels' first trailer. It's the first one I've ever seen. The copyright, copyright 2020. Um, just says Rally Trailer. So if anybody's aware whether Hot, uh, Hot Wheels has done a trailer like that, please let me know. And then this truck, as I've said before, is an unlicensed rally van, and it was used instead of any version of the uh, Ford Transit or anything. Is because this has um, a trailer hitch, and the others don't. So this is metal body, metal base, and this should just be rally van. So it's it's not a Ford, it's not a, an Opal or a Vauxhall or or a Gaz. <laughs> Uh, it's just an you know unlicensed van, but it's very cool, and that had been very much anticipated, set by me, and I'm sure many of you. Um, so now we're moving from trucks to uh, set set of trailers. So we're gonna see a little bit of a theme here. So this is a green light hitch and tow Gulf livery uh, Chevy Silverado with a trailer. And these did not come with this car, but it does fit with them. It is green light, it is Chevy, and it is Golf. So I just put it here in the trailer. And that is that beautiful Golf livery Corvette C8 from Greenlight. And that's a very cool casting. And not the last gulf we're going to see. So let's pull this off to the side here. All right. Here's another green light hitch and tow. The uh, Gas Monkey Garage. The Ford F-150 Super Cab. The enclosed trailer. And this one did come with the truck trailer and... The beautiful green light slash Shelby collectibles 68 GT5 68 GT500 convertible 1968 Shelby GT500 convertible and this one has opening doors lens headlights and taillights opening hood very nicely detailed lens headlights lens taillights this is one of my favorite models the only reason to watch that show. Uh, all right, so here is another green light um, hitch and go, uh, hitch and tow, excuse me, set uh, in a Gulf livery. Uh, the enclosed trailer and this beautiful 1972 Ford Club wagon. And you know, the shame is. That there's no car to go with that. Um, so what are we gonna do about that? We have to we have to sort of fix that. We can't we can't have a race trailer and race car. Uh, I'm excuse me, a tow rig and trailer without a race car. So why don't we open this one here? The Greenlight Miho exclusive um, Gulf Livery 2021 Ford Mustang Mach One, and it's got a collector box. And it's got a little race driver there. So let's open this up. I should have cut this beforehand, but... Box. 
race car guy will go up there for now. And the actual race car. Wow. So, just painted headlights here. Painted fog lights. Uh, nice tampo work here. Again, just painted tail lights. The exhaust tips are at least painted. Now, so the chassis on this is white painted metal. Wonder why that is. There goes a number. The rims are painted orange to go with, I guess, the orange for the Gulf livery. The interior is all white. Let's see. See if I can get this hood open. I just need to get a toothpick. There we go. All my other green light Mustangs, I think, have opening hoods. No reason this one shouldn't, but it just seems a little. Duck. I don't want to damage it. But so there we go. We have a Ford van and an enclosed delivery trailer. Now this one has New Jersey 2021 license plate there. So that's very cool and we'll put that for now inside the Gulf trailer. This over here, so now two that are not official sets, but uh, here's a mixture. This one here is a Johnny Lightning truck and trailer with an M2 Torino. Um, I had bought this set used, I believe, this and this were a Johnny Lightning. Um, Hitch and Toe, I forget what the hell they call this series, but this was a set, this 93 F-150 tra uh, camper trailer. This is probably one of the best trucks of this era in die cast. And I would love to see one of these without the trailer. I have the Lightning, but that's a green light, but this is beautiful. This is just, I mean, the, the two-tone, all the details, that's beautiful. The trailer is a generic Johnny Lightning trailer, but this one had been, um, the fenders here had been custom painted, I believe, to match the red on this and the 58 Impala that came with them. But if I'm going to have a race set, it should be a red Ford on a red Ford. Um, let's see, one more unofficial one. This one, this set is all green light. So a green light wagon from the Estate Series, the Mercury Colony Park. A Johnny Lightning trailer that I got with a uh, 65 Ford Ranchero. And the green light five liter Mustang. So aside from the two unofficial sets that just happen to work. Uh, okay, so how many factory sets I have. I bring out the other golf set. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten, uh, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oof. Fourteen. So this one's been all over. A lot of people I know have this and have shown it off. And I broke down into temptation. I wasn't going to get this because I don't like gassers. I also wasn't going to get it because I don't like this stupid seesaw ramp on this truck. But a couple people, including Rick from Whole Lotta Zap, had pointed out that this is a real truck based on a uh, real transporter used in the 60s by Ford racers, including Shelby. Um, so I bought it. So 
let's take the car off for a second. So now this is also, uh, is this a C800? I mean, that's what it looks like to me, but yes. So 65 Mercury uh, Comet Cyclone and a Ford C800. So this one, Hot Wheels actually did the right thing and they licensed the, the truck. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the wheels are nice. They're, they're a little oversized. So metal cab. Feels like metal base. Plastic platform. Here the silly ramp. So I had seen this with two Cobras on it. Um, I mean, so it came with the... It came with the Comet already attached. Let's see. Something small. How about this? The Aston Martin DBR1 will technically fit there. So it will fit. So these were apparently used for racing back in the day. So we got a Cyclone there. We've had an Austin Martin. Let's see if the... See, this is, is what bothers me. So, I mean, I guess if it was two Cobras or two little Roadsters, maybe it would fit. But you'd never fit two of these Cyclones. So we were looking at the truck, other than the tilt bed, which is, I guess, a nostalgic throwback, but I've seen people just cut these arms off and have the flat bed. I think that's the way I'd prefer it. Um, and again, I don't know who's got the proportions right, but this is smaller than that M2. So now let's take a look at this Cyclone. So of course I love Cyclones and I love Fairlanes because they're they're associated. Um, like I said, I'm not big on gassers. Uh, never was. So, but this has got some decent headlight details. The chrome engine sticking through the hood. The graphics down the side are nice. Comet Racing, AGS, Hoosier Tires, a couple of you know, Lakewood traction bars and so forth. Uh, tail lights and bumper dawn. Looks like it has a is that a California plane? Most of them would be Southern California. Steely rims in the back. Sort of modern rims in the front there. The hooker header. Uh, the uh, excuse me. The headers coming down off that race engine here. So these are nice, but uh, you know. The reason I don't like gassers is because when I was racing, and I wasn't racing a, a street, a, a race prepped car, I was racing a street car, but you didn't see these except for in nostalgia races. You know, these uh, gassers are, are, are also called altered um, wheelbase cars, uh, which became later funny cars, alter, altered uh, wheelbase, altered, yeah. They're. Uh, they're not street cars. You you would never see one of these drive to the track. Um, and while that's true of a lot of race cars, um, I always preferred my race cars to be more street based. It's one of the reasons I don't like uh, NASCAR. So actually, I opened up quite a bit of new stuff today. That beautiful Hot Wheels set. Um, and. The new green light Mach 1 Mustang. But that's that's a lot of cars and trailers, and that's 24 minutes without me even thinking. So uh, I hope you like this. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, how many of you um, have some sort of transport set? I know quite a few of you do, actually. I've seen. Uh, I believe uh, Gary of Gary's Diecast has, I think this Maestro set or one similar to it.
maybe even the 59 Chevy. Um, quite a few of us have the Hot Wheels sets and even the green light. So, uh, yeah, from the guy that doesn't collect trucks and trailers. Yeah, I better rethink that. Uh, so, um, comment down below, like, share, subscribe. Have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon.